varsity club welcome back to another classic a little wide open and a oh yeah all day i've had enough of playing for the pistons folks. i can get a couple more games in but i am frustrated i should be starting no matter what i do in the court what do they do they pull the plug i don't get to play in the second half i don't get to play in the fourth quarter whatever it is it doesn't matter because we keep losing i'm not playing we're losing that's a there's a correlation but look they say go talk to my agent about kicking the social strategy into high gear i want to hear because i'm all about high gear with getting about a detroit oh <clears throat> are you enjoying your newfound bad boy status <laughs> i like it look <laughs> i like it to be honest uh, especially because it's for a just cause yeah. man you know me better than anybody i'm not somebody who lets the world tell me what i'm worth i define that as you should yeah uh speaking of which i booked an interview for you Okay. to sit down with Frank Valentine to clear the air. <laughs> so not clear the air, well, got it. The, the idea isn't to burn bridges, but you're aware management isn't going to like what you have to say. So it's okay to approach the interview from a place of delivering a hard truth, you know? For sure. Yeah, I guess it's a fine line to walk to avoid coming off sounding like in the title, Brett, huh? Yeah. Just never forget that the coach is who's in the wrong here. Don't let them make you feel ashamed of speaking the truth. You got this. We got this. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm talking about. Things are progressing, and now it's time to meet Frank Valentine in the city to talk about my issues with the playing time. I'm hoping I nail it, but if I throw the coach under the bus, I'm not mad at that either. How you doing, Frank? Oh, hey there. Good to see you. Okay. Ah. Well, shall we begin? All you, Frank, what you got? Okay, well, let me look at my notes here real quick. Okay, I'd like to talk about the controversy surrounding the like of a tweet from user StartMPUIdiots, which states, and quotes, uh, free my boy MP. I swear y'all clowns wouldn't know Michael Jordan if he smacked you in the face. Right, okay, I know that one. Uh, okay, uh, could you tell me what was meant by liking that tweet? I mean, is it your belief that you're not being uh, properly maybe utilized by the coaching staff? Okay. Uh, I think it's, uh, I'll do this one. Nah, you know what? I'm not being utilized. Well, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, Frank, don't you? Now, now, for those who might be a little slow on the uptake, why don't you break it down for us then? Um, I want to play, and I think I can help. It's as simple as that. Plus, I appreciate my fans, so if I get a compliment, I just say thank you. That's that's how I am. By liking a defamatory tweet. Then. You said it's defamatory. I see someone who supports me, so I appreciate that. Look, fans are allowed to get emotional. That's what they do, and I support the fans for doing what they do. Okay, okay. So have you talked about this episode with your coach or front office, perhaps? Like, what do they think about all this? Hmm. Okay, interesting. Uh... I think, uh, I'm gonna keep those private. Nah, I'm gonna do the first one. Look, they know I wanna play, and they think I'm not ready for more minutes, so it is what it is. So, so they must have expressed dissatisfaction with how you chose to express those sentiments so publicly then, right? Look, they're not happy about it, just like I'm not happy about my minutes. You don't always get what you want in life. The world just keeps spinning, Frank. That's how it goes. All right, MP, do you have time for one more, perhaps? I'm so sorry, but I actually got to head out. Okay, all right, all good, no worries. Best of luck next game, all right? Hey, look, thank you, Frank. I'll catch you soon, man. All right, we'll see you then. You got a game against Brooklyn. We're playing at Brooklyn. This is the NBA champion favorite right now. Doesn't matter. We're not winning the championship here in Detroit anytime soon, but I got James Harden on me. Barbecue chicken all game. Look at this. Just like real life, James Harden can't guard me. Hey, but I feel good. I got, you know, everything off my chest. I have my nice little interview. Everyone knows how I feel and the coaching staff, they're still playing me. We'll see what happens. Real talk, if they have James Harden guarding me this whole game, they're gonna be in shambles. There's no shot that dude's gonna be able to go. Oh, they got Patty Mills on me. Okay, that's a better defender. There we go. Isaiah, I need the assist. Thank you. I was gonna say, we are absolutely torching Brooklyn right now. Best team in the NBA, nah. Not this season. Ooh, ooh, Patty, where you at? I lost all my stamina. Okay, I tried. Oh, I left Mills wide open. Oh, he, he choked it. Kyrie out here. He thinks the world is flat. Oh, you know what time it is. Skirt. Hey, Kyrie, it's how you're supposed to shoot threes. Just kidding. Oh, we got Kyrie leaning. We got him leaning. We got him leaning. Oh, we got Kyrie retort. Oh, my God, Kyrie. 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 No way, Mills. No way. Good shot. 
All right, coach doing what he does best, putting me into the two-minute mark. Harden's on me. Little screen, little wide open, and I almost missed that. No, 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 James. No, 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 James. I was joking earlier about not being able to guard me. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. Let me go to work. What's up, James? What's up, James? What's up, James? Oh, look at the hands. Oh, no. We're okay, we're okay. Oh, Millsaps? In Brooklyn now, too? What the heck? You know what time it is. James. To... No, Kyrie. Dirt. I thought the world was flat for you. Oh, my God. We left KD wide open. No. I didn't even pay attention to the fact that the score. I mean, coach had me out of the game, so it's his fault. But, bro, the score's not good. We're down two. We were up like 20. What is happening? Oh, my God. Harden's about to hit the Texas two-step on that guy. And we left Millsap wide open. Come on now. Oh, yeah. All day. You better guard me. You better guard me. Shot clock's running down. Harden and company. Probably going to get a bucket. I doubt they hold it all the way. Yep, Brown pulls up. He clanked it though. Your boy's got his first rebound of the game. 12 seconds left. You know what time it is. Oh, yeah, all the way to the bucket. Bruh. Can I just. When did I not. When did I lose the ability to make layups? KD, no shot. He hits that. Thank you. We're down one going into halftime. Will coach play me the second half? No one knows. Back in the third quarter, two minutes left. We're only down two. Honestly, I. it could have been way worse. Kyrie, please, though. I'm sorry I made those comments. All right, all right. Kyrie can't really play D, though. So that's the one saving grace I have. Especially on pick and roll. Oh, where are you at, Kyrie? Why did I shoot that? What am I doing? Oh, here we go. Oh. Sadiq Bay. Right back. Look at this. Incredible. Oh, oh, what do they do? Oh. Good game, brother. Pass to the corner. That's a turnover. No, 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 no. Oh my God, he almost had a wide open shot. Balake, get away from me. Patty Mills, hit that, I'm retiring. I would have announced my retirement literally during this game. No shot, you're gonna stop me from getting... How many layups can one man miss? It was all good at the start of the game and I'm in literal shambles right now. That's not my man. Can we rebound? No. Third quarter's almost over. Have I even scored? Maybe once? Okay, no way I don't score here. Thank you. Guaranteed to get a free throw. Let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. They're trying to shake the screen. Doesn't matter. I'm going to make it. I mean, this season, I at least have a really good free throw rating. I've had other careers where... What? Hey, look, man. We got we to gotta fight him. We got to fight Dwayne Casey. All right. Why don't you play me in the fourth? What is your problem? I know I said some terrible things in the media. Trade me or play me. Okay. Andrew. Now, I noticed you look very confident as you arrived today. How important to you is how you look when you come to work? I mean, this is dumb. I'm not really into fashion, you know? Not trying to do that in my career. Look, man, I'm not really into fashion that much, but people keep telling me I should get into it, you know, express myself, have fun with it. So it's me trying it out, basically. And how does it feel? No, it's okay. Can't say that I love it. Can't say that I hate it. You know, maybe it'll grow on me. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. All right, thanks for talking. No problem, AT. I feel like we're about to get some really good news because they're saying Catherine Hanover, the team's PR director, wants to talk to us. Better not be late. I'm walking slow, but I'm ready for this. Please be good news. MP. How you doing? So nice to finally meet you. My name is Catherine Hanover. The team just recently hired me to handle PR. You know, I've worked with a lot of athletes and public figures over the years, but I must admit, I am very excited for the chance to get to work with you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, I've never met anyone with such an innate ability to disregard all common sense. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Out of curiosity, what time do you wake up in the morning? At what hour do you roll out of bed and decide to start making these terrible decisions? Uh, well, I usually set my alarm Because no clock. matter what time it is, I can assure you, I am already in the office starting my day of meetings, 
calls, crafting releases, and controlling narratives so that I don't have to deal with the exact flavor of PR nightmare you just dropped on my desk. At what point did you think it would be a good idea to handle internal team issues by sitting down with Frank Valentine? I had the perfect PR opportunity lined up for you. We're honoring a longtime fan and healthcare worker, and you were gonna be in the photo that I sent out along with a press release that was gonna make you look so good because I am so good at my job. But not anymore, no. Your image is a mess. Look, I just wanna get my minutes. Okay, okay, look, your point of view, my point of view, I got it. What do we do now? Huh. We? I cancel everything I have for today, and I fix this. You learn how to keep your drama out of the public eye, and you get out of my office. I mean, I get it. She's got a point, and she has a right to be frustrated, but I have a right to be frustrated too. I want to be traded, or I want more minutes in this team. Either way, I'm gonna get my way. Trade, play, I'll make something happen. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody you love them. Catch you guys on the next one.